everyone, this is Meg from The Balanced Beehive. Today I'd like to talk about how to make some of those tricky finger switches on woodwind instruments just a little bit easier. I teach lessons on flute, oboe, clarinet, and saxophone, and there are some tr tricky switches on each of those instruments, especially within the first five notes that students typically learn. So let's talk about some ways to make those switches a little bit easier for your students. The two minute game. When I first introduce notes and their fingerings to students, we do practice switching between different notes. But if I notice that a whole group or the majority of a group is struggling with the same switch, then we will play this game. So I will set a timer for two minutes and then I will guide students through switching between two specific notes. We do this as a whole group because I've learned that at this early stage of learning their instrument, if I just set a timer for two minutes and say, practice this C to D switch, students will have a hard time making the most of that time to practice. So if I guide them, then I can ensure that they're getting exactly the type of practice that I want, and I can observe to see if there are any obstacles in the way of them mastering this particular switch. Sing and Fing. I'm sure most of us do this and call it different things, but for me, sing and fing is when I have students move their fingers between notes to switch and sing the notes they're playing rather than play them on their instrument. You can have the students sing the name of the note that they're playing, or you can just have them sing pitches on a neutral syllable. Whatever works and allows students to focus on what their fingers are doing rather than have to think about all the things that go into playing their instrument. Supplemental exercises. I've used several lesson books in my teaching so far, and I don't think that many lesson books usually give adequate attention to finger switching and allowing students the time and exercises to practice moving between notes before jumping right into songs. So I've written out um, several exercises that isolate each finger switch um, that students learn, at least in their first five notes. Uh, so I will play through these during lessons with students to give them that practice and I'll also give them a copy of these exercises so that they can incorporate that into their practice routine at home. But I found that students are far more confident after they've played through these exercises a bunch and are working on those finger switches and really focusing on just that. And then when they go to play simple songs like Hot Cross Buns or Mary Had a Little Lamb, they get through them quicker and they're able to play um, fluently uh, much more confidently and faster than if they had not spent the time on those finger switching exercises. So if you're interested in a sample of these exercises, um, there is a download available. Just head to the link in the video description. Hopefully these suggestions can help you and your woodwind players feel more comfortable and confident in all of the finger switches that they have to learn. Again, if you'd like a sample of the exercises that I've created for my students, go ahead to the link in the video description for a free download. Check back here for more beginning band content next Wednesday. Until next time.